A tragic car accident left our next guest paralysed and unable to walk. Yeah, but ten years on, Sophie Morgan's life has changed thanks to a new robotic eco-skeleton called Rex. Well, she's now standing up and walking again with the help of the invention. Let's hear her story. When I was 18, I was out collecting my A-levels and then went to celebrate my A-level results. And on the way home from the party, I basically lost control of the car that I was driving. I did slowly start to become aware that I couldn't feel my feet, I couldn't feel my legs, there was something wrong, there was something different going on. And my family, however, had been told the full extent of the damage and I would never walk again. Coming to terms with living with paralysis takes a long time and I wasn't born this way. In my dreams, I'm walking. And even 10 years down the line, I still miss things. I miss just standing up and hugging somebody or um, walking down the street arm in arm. Just the ease of life when you don't have a disability. Well, I'm delighted to say Sophia and her brother Tom join us now this morning. 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 Uh, clearly, you were very sort of game even when you've got your wheelchair because we saw you skiing and yeah. everything sinks the accident. Yeah. But this is something very, very different, isn't it? It is. It is. It's a whole new ball game. It's a different opportunity, really. So yeah. explain a little bit about Rex and what it's uh, so allowed the, to do. Rex is basically it's called Rex because it's a robotic exoskeleton, and the way it works is, as you can see, it straps on the outside of of a person's body, and it straps around the legs and supports all the way up to pretty much just over the stomach to, to your chest. So I'm paralyzed from here down so it straps me in holds me up and then we have a joystick which controls different options so you could got the option to sit to stand to climb stairs to go up and down slopes and yeah you, you choose the option and then you you press the joystick and, and can you, you go give us a demonstration now of course then. I can Goodness me. Yeah, and this is you standing when you've not been able to stand since you had the accident? Yeah, I haven't stood in about 10 years. So how was that? Because you were told that you wouldn't walk again. So yeah. when you first tried this out, how much of a difference does it make? It's amazing. I mean, already it just feels extraordinary sort of standing here and being so tall compared to just how, I don't know, how s the perspective shift is, is extraordinary. Course. And it, as much as I think I remember what it was like to stand and walk, I, it was such a long time ago, so it is so, it's quite overwhelming, okay. but the more I do it, the more, it's just a thrill, it's so brilliant. It's not just standing and walking, I think we've got some footage of you dancing as well. Yeah, I've got oh, Because clearly, I, I imagine it's the... <laughs> oh, look at that. Some great moves, and it's the potential as well, I imagine every day you're kind of realising what other things you can do with the legs. I, I, exactly, and I think it's exciting now, because we're kind of looking at the beginning of a technology that ultimately, who knows where it can go, it will get this, this, I'm standing here now, and one day we'll look back on this and think, gosh, look how large it is. It's going to get smaller, it's going to get faster, quieter, and eventually I might be standing here and wearing a robot underneath my jeans, and you would never know, and, and a wheelchair might be, I suppose, obsolete. I, it, who knows where it will go, so it's really exciting. Incredible to think, isn't it? Well, listen, while you sit down, you've brought your brother Tom here with you as well, and Tom, just tell us, you know, how the difference it has made, because obviously you must be so proud to see... Yeah, your really. sister standing on two feet. Yes, yeah, so aside from the, the, the physiological benefits, just to, to have... We, we went to the pub with some friends and um, just to stand in the pub garden and, and have a drink and have her, as she says, at eye level again. Because yeah. um, I forget how tall she is. So <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's incredible. And uh, I think, you know, she's, she's got a new level of confidence back. And um, as it's a family, we're, we're thrilled. So, yeah. It's, I had a chat with great. Sophie earlier in makeup and she was saying it's like the wrong trousers, which I think we decided <laughs> that that would make you grommet as well, yes, Tom, and yeah. alongside her as well. Which... <laughs> Thank you so much for oh, coming and sharing with us. Yeah. Can't wait to see its potential. And just, you know, best of luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Sophie and Tom. Thanks very much. Now it